whenever I see any carjackings, any robbery, I'm not going to lie to you. It's mainly all these black people. I'm sorry. Yes, I said it. Yes. Hello, what's that crack? What's that story with you? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out jails. <laughs> say jail. Jason Aldean. Try that in a small town. I've been seeing this everywhere all over my timeline. And I've been seeing races. Da -da -da. I gotta check that out. I have to check that out. Wow. Why am I son American? I feel like I watch too many American stuff. Let's go. Suck upon somebody on a sidewalk. Carjacking old lady at a red light. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool, act a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face. Stomp on the flag and light it up. We'll try that in a small town See how far you make it down the road Around here we take care of our own You cross that line, it won't take long For you to find out, I recommend you don't Okay, wow, 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 wow He's saying all this stuff you're doing in these big cities I, I, Wait, is it, are they talking about the far left? Because all, all the, you know, confronting the police, you know, obviously robbing a liquor store, that's not something anyone should do anyway. But they're saying you're doing stuff that if you do in a small town, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> you're absolutely fucked. Try that in a small town. Got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're gonna round up. Americans don't play with their guns. Americans do not play. Try that in a small town. Again, ah, I feel like it's because the social media. It is social media. We keep forgetting not everyone is on social media. Not everyone. And that's me as well. Sometimes I forget. I always forget about that. Like today, now, I took a trip to the no, not countryside. I went to the countryside with my girlfriend for the weekend. Went to, you know, quick, you know, quick spa weekend, that kind of stuff. And I started seeing everyone, you know, on their phones, just having a walk and everything. I'm like, this is how all the people live. I'm not used to seeing that because I live in a city where people are always texting. Everybody. Like, with the guns, like, if that's one thing that it's part of your culture, that's what your granddad, your great-granddad, this means so much to you. And I don't ever see them taking all the guns. No. I just don't see that happening because it's part of what American, you know, what America started from. You know, the First Amendment. Even though I'm not American, I've just I've done so much reactions. I just know so much, I think, anyway. Again, please correct me if you think I'm wrong. But yeah, you can't. You won't. Try that in a small town. <sighs> try that. See how far you make it down the road. Around here we take care of our own. You cross that line. And, and I feel like when they say we take care of their own, would take care of their own. I think it's not about if you're black, white. As long as you are obeying the law and you're being, you're just living with us, it doesn't matter. We would take care of our own. Anyone else that comes in that messes around, I don't, I don't think so far anyway. In my, in my opinion, I don't think this is about you being black or white or Italian, say Italian, Latina, Asian. I don't think so. I do not think so. The way he's saying it anyway. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. And it won't take long. I think it might be because people might think this is racist because maybe them robbers are black. Maybe. That's why people would think it's racist. But robbers could be black or white. So yeah. I don't know. It's not, I don't, so far, so far to me, this song is not racist. So far to me. It's saying what's happening in, in, in the world, literally. Literally. Again, maybe just because I'm here, whenever I see any carjackings, any robbery, I'm not going to lie to you. It's mainly all these black people. I'm sorry. Yes, I said it. Yes. I said it. Maybe just because what I see, it's probably what the media is probably showing me. But that's what it's showing me. Please, you guys are going to comment down below where you guys chat. But yeah, that's what I see. Let me know what you guys see. Like when I see, like if I, top, if I type in on YouTube, New York 
New York robbery. New York robberies this week. That's what I'm gonna see. But yeah, please let me know if I'm wrong. But obviously in the small obviously in, in cities where it's obviously mainly white people, you see more white people. But we are we are kind of tend to see more stuff from, you know, Los Angeles, uh you don't see stuff happening in uh I'm trying to think, uh think of a white place. Oh, what's it, Montana? Is that that's when that's white that's white in it? That's a white place, that's probably a white area, white city, town. You don't see a lot of stuff in the news. Yeah. I'm trying rubbish. Let me get back. If you look for a fight, try that in a small town. I think people, sorry, people need to realize this kind of stuff means so much because most of these people that live in these towns and cities, you know, the 1860s, 1865, when the, what, what time, when was the Civil War? I think the slavery stopped, stopped in 1865. When the Civil War happened, I think that kind of stuff meant so much to them because a lot of people died. A lot of people. Like when I was, when I do my, when I did, I did after my research, I've checked all this stuff before, a lot of people died. And these are people's great, 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 great granddad. And to them, it's like, oh my God. So you're telling me these people died for nothing. They died so that I can have my rights to do this, to do that. That's why it means so much to them. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like it's not, most of the time we think people are racist. They're not, it's just the way they see things. That's what they're used to. They don't live in this social media life we live in. It's a whole different world to them. These are hands-on people. Like we saw earlier, there was a guy ready to face robbers. You don't see that happening in the cities. In the cities, it's like, but in, you're less likely to see that happening in obviously in small cities in small towns to be fair that's why I think anyway let's get back farmers are dropping their own crops for the day a friend is in need and they've come to help it's what this community and a lot of our community stand for somebody needs some help you'll get it again that gives me chills I don't I don't usually get chills but things like that coming together you don't see that in that's this is why like I may this my sound. I'm a country boy, literally. I prefer to live in the countryside. I grew up in Ireland, yeah, and I was raised in in a town called Kildare, which is it's, it's a small countryside, literally. And I I wake up and I see horses, I see horses, what else? I see sheep, literally. You, you wake up and you see a sheep outside your gaff, literally. That's the way I wake up, and I like that. But then when I moved to like you know big cities, it's like it's about money, it's about fame, it's about who can do this, who has the biggest car, who, it's like who can dress like this, who has the, Louis Vuitton, you know, but where I grew up, people care, people were, people would help you, people, literally, you have to realise, where I grew up here, we were the only black family for like about three, four years, literally, in my, like literally, in, in our town, like, not my town, in our area, if like three, four, would, and I won't, I won't lie to you, sometimes I didn't realise, just the way they treat me, obviously you get sometimes where you get, some ignorance, you know, people asking, oh, can I touch your hair, can I, but then, once you explain stuff to them, they're the nicest people, and I feel like it's the same over there, you know what I mean, they just want to be able to live their life, you know, we're not going to agree with, not everyone's going to agree with the guns, I'm, when it comes to guns, I don't care, because I've never had a gun, I've never used a gun, so I don't know what happens over there, but the song, in my opinion, I don't think it's racist, it's just saying, look, this is the way we've lived our life. This is what we this is what we love. This is what don't take it away from us. If you do, we might, you know. Let me know what you guys think. I know the comments are gonna be busy. Let's yeah, let's chat the comments. Again, I'm if I'm if you think I'm wrong, that that's that's your opinion. I, I might be wrong. That's just it's just my opinion. This is my opinion. It's my reaction channel. It is my. I think it is. Yes, it is. It is. Let's get back. <laughs> And, sorry again i think i became a big fan of america when i started reacting to the Bee Gees because i met so much people in the comments they were the nicest people people from different cities that's what i said montana montana alabama people white black asian literally from all over 
you know, talking about one love of what the Bee Gees, the beautiful band, the Bee Gees. Like now, the Bee Gees is like the top three, probably, yeah, my top three favorite art, uh, artists of all time. Why? Because I was able to expose myself to actually get to know them. Do you know what I mean? People, get to know people because you never know. You never know. If you feel like, oh my God, all these people that lives that sing this song, they're, all, they're, they're racist. Cause that's, I ain't going to lie to you. For a long time, that's what I probably used to think as well. Yeah? Because whenever I see some guy wearing a hat, whatever, in the in a ranch, it's like, oh, it's, it's, it probably are slaves. That's, that's what I see in the news every time. That's what, that's what it looks like. That's why I can't wait to actually, you know, take a journey to America. You just explore myself, see things myself. And one thing I actually ate so much is whenever I see, when I see all these YouTubers going to the most racist town, most racist, how do you, like, how is it the most racist town? What about people that are living there that are actually not racist? Imagine how they feel like. I'm trying to shite. Let's get back to it. It's almost done. Not bad song. Good voice. It reminds me of uh, Toby Keith. Got a lovely voice. Literally, I think just about a guy that really loves his country, and that's this is what this is his beliefs. You might agree, you might not agree. I don't live there, so it doesn't really matter what I think. Yeah, it's just my opinion. Yeah, that was good. I thought I was out of ten. I probably give about, about seven to eight out of ten. Yeah, because he's speaking about what's going on in life. That's pretty much it. If you wanna see more, comment down below. Check out the membership. If you wanna join for exclusive videos, I think this video might go out to memberships first. Yeah, so yeah, get to see. It. Get check out Patreon for stuff that might be not be good for. YouTube on exclusive stuff. And I'll see you guys very soon. Yeah, try it out in a, yeah, try it out in a small town and you see what happens. Something like that. See, bye bye.